Okay, good morning everybody. Mr. Shua coming back at you with another math video. Today we're going to talk about SOHCAHTOA. Now SOHCAHTOA is a concept you may have learned about in trigonometry or geometry. In some cases you may have learned about it in algebra class. It's basically an acronym for a method that we use to find either the side lengths or the angle measures in right triangles. I'm going to explain what it means, and then I'm going to show how we would use the SOHCAHTOA concept uh, in math. First off, SOHCAHTOA, it's an acronym, and the SO part, S-O-H, stands for the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side of the angle over the hypotenuse of an angle. The CA is for cosine. And cosine of an angle is basically the adjacent side of an angle over the hypotenuse of an angle. And the toa part is for tangent, which is the opposite side of an angle over the adjacent side of an angle. So let's look at a few examples of how we would actually put this into practice. All right, so here it says to solve each right triangle and round each side to the nearest tenth, which is one decimal point. Okay, well, here we have a right triangle. We know that we got the indication here. So that's uh, 90 degrees. And then we say this other one's 39 degrees. So we know that if this is 90, the, both of these together have to add up to 90 because all triangles add up to 180 degrees. So basically 90 degrees minus 30 degrees, 51 degrees. So that's when angle X is going to be. That's pretty easy. All right, let's look at the side lengths. Now let's say we want to find side length of XY right here. All right, using SOHCAHTOA, what can we do? Well, we know that this angle is 39 degrees. We know this is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. We know that because it's the longest side of the right triangle and it's opposite the right angle. So this is the hypotenuse, but we want to find this side right here, X. We'll just call it X. So basically, this is uh, 39 degrees and we want to find this X. So we have this side, which is opposite the angle, and we have the hypotenuse. So, out of the SOHCAHTOA, the three, which ones deal with opposite over hypotenuse? Well, that would be the sine, right? Opposite over the hypotenuse. So, basically, the setup is going to be the sine of 39 degrees is equal to the opposite x over 7. Let me pull up my calculator so we can work that here. All right, and come on, calculator, where you at? All right, good clear. Now, also, whenever you're doing these, make sure, go to your mode, make sure your calculator's in degree mode, because if you're in radian mode, that's for trigonometry, Make and you'll get a wrong answer. Make sure you're in degree mode. Okay, so I'm in degree mode. All right, so let me do sine. Sine of 39 is equal to 0.6293. So 0.6293 is equal to the opposite x, over 7. So in order to find out what my x is, I just simply need to multiply both sides by 7. So multiply by 7, and I get 4.4, 4.4, which is rounded to the nearest tenth, which is what they're asking here. All right? So let's look at the next side. So side yz. Well, what do I have in this instance? I have the side which is adjacent to the angle, and I have the side which is the hypotenuse. And which one deals with adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, that's cosine, ka, right? So, what I would do, come back calculator, and pull this back up here. I'm going to do the cosine of 39 which happens to be 0.7771, equals my adjacent over my hypotenuse, right? So set up here, and then again, to solve for x, I would multiply both sides by 7. So I multiply by 7. I get 5.44. Well, 5.4, round it to the nearest tenth. So this is going to be 4.4 for the length of the side. This is going to be 5.4 for the length of the side.
Okay, let's look at the next example here. Let's see what we have. All right, so we know this is a right triangle. We have angle E is 24 degrees. We have a side that's opposite. And let's say we're trying to find this is adjacent. So opposite and adjacent. So opposite and adjacent, that's TOA, tangent, right? Right there, opposite and adjacent. All right, so let's come on back here. So what I would do is the tangent of 24 degrees, which happens to be 0.4452, is equal to the opposite, 14, over the adjacent of x is what we want to solve for. Now, in this case, whenever the x is on the bottom, the way that you solve for the x is whatever number is on top divided by this. So obviously, so it's going to be 14 divided by this 0.4452. So 14 divided by that the answer, 0.4452. And I get a 31.4. If any of you are wondering how that's so, well, mathematically, if I multiply both sides by x, I would get 0.4452x equals 14, correct? Then if I want to get the x by itself, I would divide by 0.4452, so the x would be 14 over the 0.4452. So I was basically just saving time, just setting it up this way and getting the 31.4. All right? So that's for side DE. Now what about for side EF? Well. I have the opposite side, and I have the hypotenuse. And the one that deals with the opposite and the hypotenuse is the sine, because sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, right? So the sine of 24 is going to equal the opposite side over the x for my hypotenuse. So the sine of 24 is 0 0.4067 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Then again, Saving time, whenever the x is on the bottom, the way that you solve for the x is take whatever number is on top and divide it by this number. So, 14, the opposite, divided by the point 4067, the answer. Now you get 34.4. So that would be the side length for the hypotenuse in this instance. Okay, so... That was uh, four examples of using the side length, all right? Now, let's see how we can use SOHCAHTOA with angle measures. Okay, so find the measure of x for each right triangle to the nearest degree. All right, so let's see. So angle x right here, there's nothing listed here. Hmm. All right, but what do we have? Well, we know that the side opposite is 8, and we know that the side adjacent is 12. So opposite and adjacent, tangent uses opposite and adjacent. So in order to find the angle measure, now, here's what you need to do differently. If you're going to find angle measures, you need to use the inverse of sine, cosine, and tangent. Since I'm using tangent, I'm going to hit my second tangent, which is the inverse, because the inverse will give you angle measures. So the inverse of the opposite over the adjacent. 33.6 round up to 34 degrees. Okay, so 34 degrees here would be the angle measure. So if that's 34, that means that this one would be 56, right? Well, we can just double check, even though it's not asking for it here, we can just double check it. So let's see, if we're, for angle Y, what do we have? We have opposite and we have the adjacent, right? So if we do the inverse of the tangent, the opposite over the adjacent, and here we get the 56. So you see, it works out both ways, right? Okay, so let's look at the next example here. So for a measure of angle X, I have the 
opposite and uh, oh jeez. Mm. Hey babe. How you doing? Can I call you back in just a minute? I'm filming a video. Okay. All right, it'll be like a minute or two. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry, and you know what? I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> it don't matter. All right. So anyway, so for angle X, we have the uh, op the adjacent side. And we have the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse. So that's cosine. So I'm going to use the inverse of the cosine and the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. I get 66. Then, of course, that's going to be 34 if I use the inverse, if you already know that. All right. Anyway, let us move on. All right, so let's see here if we want to know the angle X here. Well, what do I have? I've got the opposite side. I've got the adjacent side. So that's going to be opposite and adjacent tangent. So the inverse of tangent equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. And 66.8, which is 67, rounded to the nearest degree, right? And then lastly, let's see what we have here for X. So I've got the opposite side of the angle X, and I've got the hypotenuse of the triangle. So that's going to be sine, the inverse of sine. So the inverse of sine equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse and 32.33 so again finding angle measures or finding side lengths is easy with Sokotoa with right triangles and again pardon that uh, little phone uh, interruption there but I'm gonna leave it in the video I don't care alright so again Mr. Shua signing off on another one and I'll see you on the next math video